Hello, family. Welcome back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermaine Golong, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I appreciate you coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey. Uh, today, uh, I want to talk about a scripture in the book of Yasher. It is chapter 34, and it is verse 66. And I'm going to read it out to you guys, uh, and then I'm just going to elaborate on some of the things or the background. Or let me just get into the background beforehand. Um, this is the time where, uh, I guess in Genesis, where... Um, the children of Jacob, they had defiled his daughter, uh, Diana, I think that's her name, uh, Dinah or Diana, something like that. Um, and as you know, she had been defiled, you know, they devised a plan to get back at the uh, men who defiled her because they came to, uh, ask for her hand in marriage. And as the sons of Jacob, uh, told them to go ahead and circumcise themselves. And when every man in the town had circumcised themselves, then they went and they slew all the men because of this. Um, and, you know, it, the, the background of that, that's just the background of that story. But my reading through this and understanding that story, it was just because people wouldn't call out the wickedness. You know, that's why they slew all the people in the city, because these are the prominent people in the city and they wouldn't call it out. They just sat there. Uh, they accepted the wickedness of these men. And then uh, they came with them on one accord uh, to do, you know, and to ask that hand in marriage and to mm -hmm. join in families uh, with the uh, Hebrew children, the children of Jacob. Uh, and, and so at this time, as they went out and uh, they committed, you know, you know, the the massacre of these men because of their evil, wicked acts. Um, it comes to the knowledge of some of the other kings who were friends with the guys uh, and they are coming, you know, to just come upon uh, the children of Jacob uh, because of this. And Jacob, he's worried at this time and he's a little nervous. Uh, but, you know, his kids are girded in uh, the Lord and they say, hey, the Lord got us through this, 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 this and this. And why wouldn't he get us through these? Why would we allow our God to be disgraced uh, and, you know, your daughter to be defiled, our sister to be defiled? Uh, and, and so when you, you get into all of that and you have that understanding of where their minds are and what their thoughts are, you know, Jacob pretty much understands like, you know, they are right. I was wrong. And guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to pray to God for the protection of my children. And this is the scripture chapter, um, chapter 34, verse 66. It reads, uh, now, therefore, O Lord God, God of the whole earth, pervert. I pray you the counsel of these kings that they might not fight against my sons. And, you know, I think about that because I have uh, two young sons that I love dearly uh, and I'm usually fighting against them because I need them to listen and, and, and get to the things that they need to get to as young men. But you think about, you know, all the people on this this earth that we, you know, we traverse through day in, day out. And, uh, you know, the things that would come against our sons uh, to bring them down or to cause them distress or turmoil or trouble or any things of that nature, you know, and they have to overcome it. You know, they have to have our instructions. They have to have our uh, knowledge of it. Uh, so it's definitely a lot of the things that we got to go through to get them in you know the right mindset uh so like i said they have to go over a lot of things they have to you know avoid those obstacles in life uh that would definitely keep them from where they're supposed to be um and so i, I pray for my kids all the time but i i thought this prayer was amazing because it says ah now therefore 
O Lord God, God of the whole earth, pervert, I pray you, the counsel of these kings that they may not fight against my sons. You know, because, you know, people want to take up arms against uh, the people that we love because think about it. Uh, they want to take up arms against uh, the followers of Christ. You know, they want to take up uh, arms for people who walk a certain way, who live according to the Most High. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, we're always praying uh, for each and every one of our children as they walk through this life. Uh, but guess, you know, how much more is our Father in Heaven praying for us? Uh, that we understand that, you know, it's not going to be flesh that we're going to come against, but it's going to be these uh, powers and principalities and that host of spiritual wickedness in heavenly places that's going to be coming against each and every one of our children, you know, trying to pull them out of their comfort zone, trying to pull them out of their character, trying to put them in a position where, you know, they will be forced to react in a way that's unbecoming of them and us unbecoming of us as parents. Uh, and, and so it's just a continual prayer for our children uh, to make sure that they, you know, understand that they're not wrestling against uh, flesh and blood. You know, I know we can say this thing a hundred times, but people don't understand that this is flesh and blood uh, and that their spiritual war that you know, we need to take battle against that. We need to take up arms against where we're losing uh, dramatically by the things that's on TV, the things that's uh, played uh, through the speaker uh, and by the day to day activities with people that's not of uh, of God, of, of the way or, or of that, the mindset of the most high. So family, as always. I appreciate you for listening and as always enjoy the journey.